Turn your Bibles to Revelation chapter 2. Otvorimo Bibliju u Otkrovenju poglavlju 2. So we're going through the seven letters to the seven churches. Prolazimo kroz sedam pisama za sedam crkvi. The ecclesia, you are the ecclesia. Ecclesia, vi ste ecclesia. Mi smo ecclesia. Last night Rod talked about the first letter to the the church of Ephesus. Rod je prošli put govorio o prvom pismu u crkvi u Efesu. First letter because I think that that's first in importance. Uh, ja mislim da je to that's the first in importance. Yeah. Ja mislim da je to prvo pismo je prvo po važnosti. Because that's really the answer to every church's problem. Jer to je zapravo odgovor na probleme svih crkava. It's Jesus. To je Isus. It's coming back to that intimacy. To je povratak u tu intimnost, u to zajedništvo. And when we're in that intimate abiding relationship with Jesus. I kada smo u tom intimnom uh, trajnom odnosu sa Isusom. There's not going to be that compromise. Neće biti kompromisa. There's not going to be that lukewarmness. Neće biti neke ispraznosti. No deception. Neće biti prevare. It's things are good, things are right. Stvari su dobre, stvari su na pravom mestu. And so that's that's it. That's I could do that whole message over again. Ja mislim da je to poruka i mogu bih ponoviti tu istu poruku ponovo. And it would be the first letter. So I want you to carry that through every letter. I sada kad budete nastavili prenesite tu poruku sve vreme kroz ova ova sledeća pisma koja dolaze. But tonight we come to the to the second church that's mentioned and that is Smyrna. Uh, mi dolazimo sad do druge crkve koja je spomenuta, to je crkva u Smirni. So you remember in chapter 1 verse 19 John or Jesus said to John he said write the things which you have seen the things which are and the things which take place after this. U prvom poglavlju u 19. stihu uh, Isus je rekao uh, Jovanu napiši dakle šta si video i šta je i šta će biti potom. The things that are seen was Jesus in chapter 1. Uh, stvari koje su bile viđene to je Isus u poglavlju 1. The things that are chapter 2 and 3 the churches. Uh, u poglavljima 2 i 3 ono što je sada to su crkve. And the things that will take place after this chapter 4 to the end of the book. A ono što će tek da dođe to su stvari koje se dešavaju u poglavljima 4 do kraja knjige. But don't forget that this is the revelation of Jesus Christ. Ali nemojte da zaboravite da je ovo revelacija, otkrovenje Isusa Hrista. Not only of himself. Ne samo njega, but his revelation to the churches. Nego njegova objava crkvama. As to what's important and what's not important. Da im objavi šta je važno i šta nije važno. He's the one that has eyes of fire. He can see through it all. On je onaj koji ima oči od vatre, vatrene oči koji može da vidi kroz sve. He knows our motive, he knows why we do what we do. On zna naše motive i zna zašto činimo ono što činimo. But as you probably already know, these were seven real churches in Asia Minor. Ali kao što znate, najverovatnije ovo su bili sedam stvarnih pravih crkvi u Maloj Aziji. So there's a local application to this. Dakle, postoji lokalna primena ovoga što tu čitamo. There's, I believe, also a historical application. Postoji, međutim, i istorijska primena ili aplikacija. That, that many believe that these seven churches are seven Pictures are seven epics of church history throughout the age. Mnogi veruju da je ovi sedam crkava zapravo na neki način sedam perioda u razvoju crkve kroz there's, istoriju. There's a ecclesiastical uh, application. Postoji ekleziastičko prim, uh, ekleziastička primena. But there's also that personal application. Ali postoji i ta pri, uh, ta uh, individualna primena. And that's what we're really primena. focusing on here at this retreat. I tu se zapravo na, ovom, na ovoj konferenciji najviše bavimo sa tim. That personal side. Ta personalna, lična strana ove poruke. And really just seeing where the Holy Spirit leads us and takes us as we sharpen one another, encourage one another. I to je ono što želimo da vidimo gde nas Sveti Duh vodi dok osnažujemo jedni druge, dok pomažemo jedni drugima. But let's read from verse 8 through 11 of chapter 2. Pročitajmo drugo poglavlje 8 do 11. I anđelu crkve Smiranske napiši, tako govori prvi i posljednji koji beše mrtav i evo je živ. Znam tvoja dela i nevolju i siromaštvo, ali si bogat. I hula onih koji govore da su jevreji, a nisu, nego zbornica Sotonina. Ne boj se ni od što, će post, što ćeš postradati. Gle, džavo će neke od vas metati u tamnicu da se iskušate i imat ćete nevolju do deset dana. Budi veran do same smrti i daću ti venac života. Ko ima uvod da čuje, neka čuje šta govori duh crkvama, koji pobedi, neće mu nauditi, 
druga smrt. So it's a very short letter, it's a very powerful letter, but it's a very encouraging letter for those who are being persecuted. Vrlo kratko, vrlo snažno i vrlo ohrabrujuće pismo za one koji su bivali proganjani. So just a little background to this city and this malo, church. Malo, da kažemo, pozadine konteksta ovo, ovog grada, odnosno ove crkve. It's about 35 miles north of Ephesus. To je oko 35 milja uh, severno od uh, Efesa, to je oko 50 km. Out of the seven churches, it's the only city that, or place that is still thriving. To od svih tih sedam crkava, svih tih sedam mesta, to je jedina crkva koja još uvijek napreduje. It's called Izmir today. To se, to se zove, odnosno još uvijek postoji, to je Izmir About danas. About 300,000 population. 300,000 populacija, odnosno stanovništvo. Back in stanovništvo. John's day, it was about 100,000 population. U Jovanovo vreme, to je bilo oko 100,000 ljudi, žitelja. But this, this city was known for its pagan worship. Ali ovaj grad je bio poznat uh, po svojim paganskim verima. They had temples everywhere in this city. Uh, there were temples. Bile su crkve po celom gradu. The Temple of Apollos. Apolonova crkva. Temple of Zeus. Zeusova crkva. Uh, Aphrodite. Aphroditina. Um Asclepius, he's the Asclepius, the, the serpent uh, healer. On, on the hospitals that you see. Asclepius, on je bio neki zaštitnik uh, lekara, ja mislim. There was monuments to to Homer and Poseidon and just Bili su spomenici Homeru, Poseidonu. And and it was such a beautiful city. It was like a, a they said it was like a diadem on this hill. It's just beautiful. Bio je prelep, prelep grad, bio je kao diadema, odnosno kao kruna na na jednom brdu. And this is where Rome wanted to build a temple for Caesar Tiberius. I to je mesto gdje je Rim htio da izgradi za Cezara Tiberija hram. So why were why was this church being so persecuted? Onda pitanje je zašto je baš ova crkva bila toliko proganjana? I mean, it's only 35 miles from Ephesus. Why samo, is in Ephesus being persecuted? To je 35 milja samo daleko od Efesa, zašto Efes nije bio toliko proganjan? Because Caesar worship was happening. Zato jer se dešavalo obožavanje Cezara Tiberija. Now every year whatever religion you were, whatever god you worshiped, you had to pay homage and worship Caesar. Svake godine, bez obzira na koju si veru propovedao, šta si verovao, morao si jednom godišnje da, da obožavaš Cezara rimskog. Trebao si da uzmeš neke mirise, da dođeš u hram, da staviš uh, kod žetvenika i da zapališ taj miris i da kažeš Cezar je Bog. And then you get your certificate that you paid homage to Caesar. I tada bi dobio svoj certifikat, svoju diplomu da si obožavao Cezara. And now you can buy and you can sell and now you can go and worship whatever god you want all year. I onda si mogao da kupuješ i prodaješ i da ideš da obožavaš bilo kojeg boga koga si hteo. The Romans didn't really care what you worshiped. Rimljane je baš bilo briga šta ti zapravo obožavaš. It was more a political thing. To je bilo više neka politička stvar. But Christians refused to worship Caesar. Ali hrišćani su odbijali da obožavaju Cezara. Now if they have the temple to Apollos and the temple to Zeus and the temple to Jesus da oni su imali sve te crkve Apolona, Zevsa, Isusa. And you just threw some stuff on the altar, you didn't really mean it and you went to your temple Jesus, they would have left the Christians alone as well. Da je, da je bilo samo to da ideš po crkvama svaku u svoju crkvu i da stavi te svoje mirise da obožava u toj svojoj crkvi, to je bilo sve u redu. And so there was a lot of persecution coming down on these Christians. Ali je stvarno puno progona bilo na, na ovim hrišćanima. They were being They were being crushed. Oni su bili stvarno lomljeni. Many of them were going to be crucified. Mnogi su bili razapeti. Eaten by wild animals. Čak su i e, puštali da ih jedu divlje životinje. Two. Bili su kidani, e, testerisani na dvoje. Ripped apart. Bili su kidani na delove. It was bad. Bilo je stvarno gadno. It was a crushing. To je stvarno bilo drobljenje. And gadljenje. it's interesting because the city of Smyrna is really the root word for the word uh, myrrh. Uh, to je interesantno da je zapravo uh, naziv grada Smirna zapravo ima koren reči mir. And myrrh means bitter. A mir misli uh, gorčinu. It's interesting that in the New Testament the only three times that myrrh or Smyrna, myrrh is used is with Jesus. Uh, 
Interesantno je da se u Novom Zavetu mir, odnosno smirna, koristi tri puta i svaki put u vezi. Ta gorčina se koristi svaki put u vezi sa Isusom. When the wise men came to worship Jesus, they brought incense and myrrh. Kada su mudraci došli da obožavaju uh, Isusa da se poklone pred njim, oni su doneli mirise i doneli su smirnu. When Jesus was on the cross, Kad je Isus bio they, na krstu, wine with myrrh. oni su napravili vino sa smirno. And then Nicodemus came bringing that mixture of of smirna or or myrrh. I Nicodemus um, se donio and alo. On Nicodemus je donao mešavinu smirne aloe. And I think that this is so fitting because Smyrna the persecuted church was experiencing a, a bitter sweet relationship with the Lord. I mislim da ovo baš stvarno odgovara zato jer je Smirna iskušavala odnosno preživljavala taj gorko sladak odnos sa Bogom. It was so bitter because of the bitterness and the crushing. Bilo je to tako gorko zbog tog strašnog progona i pritiska. But it, but it was so sweet because well Jesus was everything. Ali je bilo je slatko jer pa Isus je bio sve za njih. You know, there's something else about myrrh as well. It's not only uh, something bitter when it comes to your mouth, but it also gives off a beautiful fragrance. Ali ima još nešto bitno vezano za ovaj myrrh, to je da je osim što je gorak, da je jako lep miris kada se zapali. Um, they would use it for embalming dead bodies and also they would use it uh, in the temple as anointing oil. Oni su koristili smirnu za pomazivanje, odnosno za balzamovanje leševa, mrtvaca. Isto tako su koristili u hramu za pomazivanje uljem. I Isus ovdje koristi zapravo to okruženje i, i taj grad da bi izvukao jednu predivnu duhovnu poruku. Sometimes this church is hard to relate to because we don't suffer that kind of persecution. Onekad je teško da imamo da da stvarno razumemo šta se tu dešava, zato jer mi ne proživljavamo tako teško, ovaj takav težak progon. When, I mean, the most persecution I ever had was maybe in Subo back in the early days. <laughs> najviše najviše progona što sam ja doživio možda bilo u Subotici u ranim danima. And that was nothing. A to je stvarno bilo ništa. You know. But So so how do we relate to this? Pa, kako da se sad odnosimo prema ovome? Well, we still go through hard things in pa, our own personal lives. Pa mi ipak prolazimo kroz teške stvari u našem privatnom životu. But as as it relates to our bridegroom Jesus. Ali pošto se to odnosi prema našem mladoženju Isusu. In Song of Solomon chapter 3 verse 6. U uh, in Song of Solomon i ovaj pesmama Salomonim poglavlje četiri stih šest. It says who is this coming out of the wilderness like pillars of smoke perfumed with myrrh and frankincense. Kaže ko je taj ko dolazi iz pustinje koji je na kome se nalazi mir iz smirne. And then in Psalm 45 it says all your garments are scented with myrrh. U Psalmu 44 kaže da sva tvoja odela mirišu na smirnu. So the fragrance of Jesus as our bridegroom miris Hristov kao našeg mladoženja is represented symbolically with this myrrh. Je predstavljen ovim smirnom mirom. And I believe that although these brothers and sisters in Smyrna were going through much persecution there was a sweetness because of the presence of Christ in their lives. Iako su ovi obraćaj sestri u smirni prolazili kroz taj progon, bilo je tu osjećaja sla, slasti u tome što su prolazili. Can I ask you Radosti. is there a fragrance of Jesus in your life? Da li ima mirisa Hrista u tvom životu? Or is it another fragrance? Ili postoji neki drugi miris u našem životu? Something that doesn't smell so good. Nešto što ne miriši tako dobro. Something that's not Jesus. Nešto što nije Isus. Do you know when you're in the presence of somebody that it's you know some lady walks into the church and she's got a lot of perfume on. Na primjer kada neka gospođa uđe u crkvu ima mnogo parfema na sebi. It's like whoa. It's to je stvarno too much. Doživlje. But sometimes somebody will walk by you and it's like oh that they smell good. Nekad samo neko prođe i ostiš, aha, dobro miriši. 
Is that happening in our lives with Jesus? Da li se to dešava u našem životu sa Hristom? Now, you're not going to be aware of the perfume. Nećeš biti svestan tog parfema. If you have the same perfume on every day, you you get used to it. You you don't really even smell it. Ako nosiš svaki dan jedan te isti parfem, na, navikneš se na njega i nećeš ga uopšte ni osetiti. Others will though. Ali ostali hoće. And, and I believe that I smell the best spiritually. Ja verujem da ja najbolje mirišim duhovno. When, when I am so desperate for Jesus. Kad sam toliko oč, kad mi Isus toliko očajno treba, kad mi je potreban. Maybe the persecution is coming from the devil. Možda progon dolazi od Sotone. Because as we just read, this persecution it says was formulated by the devil. Jer kao što vidimo ovdje kaže da je taj progon bio formulisan od strane Sotone. By the enemy. Od neprijatelja. There's a fragrance that comes through crushing. Dolazi jedan miris, postoji jedan miris koji nastaje kad nas slome, kad nas gaze. How many of you by show hands have You've heard John Corson teach. Uh, koliko vas je čulo John? John Corson? John Corson, da. Okay, some of you. John Corson is a very... Uh, he's just a great guy. He's a good man. He's a good pastor. He's a good teacher. John Corson je dobar čovek, uh, dobar uh, učitelj, dobar pastor. And I remember his son. He said, you all love to drink the wine and smell the fragrance of my father in his teaching. Uh, on, njegov sin je govorio da svi volimo da osetimo miris vina i tog mirisa koji dolazi kroz učenje od njegovog oca. But you don't know the crushing that needed to take place in order for you to drink that wine and smell that fragrance. Ali kaže vi nemate pojma o tom lomljenju i gaženju koje je bilo potrebno da bi se taj miris osjetio i to vino došlo. John Corson lost his wife, John Corson lost his daughter. John Corson izgubio svoju suprugu, svoju ćerku. And his example I, I don't know of any other example of people losing their wife and their child in, there was such a fragrance of Jesus. Ne znam ni jedan drugi primjer da je neko izgubio suprugu i čerku i da, je, da se osjeća takav miris Hristo. Are you experiencing bitterness right now or sweetness? Da li sad iskušavaš osjećaš gorčinu ili slast? The sweetness of his peace. Slast njegovog mira. You know the verse Philippians 4:6 be anxious for nothing. Znate Filipi 4:6 ne budite ne brinite se ni oko čega. And And if you just be anxious for nothing but in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving make your request be known to God the peace of God will come. Ako se ne nervimo ni oko čega nego ako smo u molitvi ako smo u predanosti Bogu onda ćemo dobiti mir Boži. Turn to 2 Corinthians 2:14. Uh, uh, druga Korinćanima 2:14. I'll read it in English and then you can read it. Okay. In 2 Corinthians 2:14 it says now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place for we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. Ali hvala Bogu koji svakda nama daje pobedu u Kristu Isusu i kroz nas javlja mir i spoznanja svojega na svakom mestu jer smo mi Hristov mir iz Bogu i među onima koji spasavaju i koji ginu. I love that through Christ we have the triumph. Volim to jer smo kroz kroz Krista imamo triumf. And notice the the scent the sweetness is not coming from us it's it's coming through us. Milos, miris i i slast Hristova ne dolazi od nas nego kroz nas. Do you have a fragrance of Jesus? Da li imaš miris Hristov? Whether you are going through something really difficult in your life because da, you are stupid. Bez obzira da li proziš kroz nešto jako teško u svom životu jer si bio glup. Like me. Kao ja na primjer. I was stupid. Bio sam glup. I've gone through quite a few years of pain. Prošao sam kroz nekoliko godina uh, bola. 
As I was sharing in the in the our group today. Kao što sam delio danas u našoj grupi. I let things get the best of me. Ja sam dozvolio da stvari uzmu ono najbolje od mene. And the best of me is Jesus. A najbolje od mene je Isus. So everything else got the best of me. Sve drugo me nadvladalo. And I allowed that. Ja sam to dopustio da me sve nadvlada. And I was in a place that I shouldn't have been in. I bio sam na mestu gdje nije trebalo da budem. And I experienced a lot of pain and a lot of regret. I osjetio sam mnogo bola i mnogo uh, kajanja. And shame and brokenness. I sramote i slomljenosti. Like I've never been broken before. Kao što nikad nisam bio slomljen pre. I was stripped to the bone. Bio sam ogoljen do kostiju. I thought I was over. I thought everything was over. Mislio sam da je gotovo, da je sve gotovo. And I, I can't articulate to you how horrible it, it was. Teško mi je to da artikulišem vama koliko mi je teško i strašno bilo. And yet I smell better. <laughs> pa ipak osjećam da mirišim bolje. There's a fragrance. Postoji miris. Through the through the breaking and the crushing kroz slomljenost i kroz uh, zdrobljenost. And maybe you're feeling that weight tonight and, and you haven't done anything wrong. I možda osjećaš taj teret danas, a možda nisi uradio ništa loše. God has such a way of using all this pain in our lives. Bog ima način da koristi sav taj bol u našim životima. I was so encouraged this morning in our workshop bio sam jako ohrabren danas na radionici. Because I I just I spoke and Tajvu spoke and Tibor spoke and Ja sam govorio, Tajvo je govorio, Tibor je govorio. Greg Svoka and Greg. Ildi spoke and, and it was Ildi just govorila. You know, it was on persecu- or perseverance. To je bilo o iz, istrajnosti. And I'm I'm looking at all these people I'm like We've persevered. I gledam ih i mislim da su istrajni. We, we've persevered all this time. Izdržali smo sve ovo vreme. But we, we've all gone through a lot of hard things and pain. Prošli smo kroz mnogo teških stvari i kroz bol. But there's I could smell you people and you smell good. <laughs> I mogu da vas osetim i mirišite dobro. Maybe not Tibor, but Možda everybody <laughs> is smelling good. <laughs> but it wasn't your fragrance, it was the fragrance of Jesus coming through you. And you persevering. And, and this is what Jesus is saying to Smyrna. And, and he's encouraging them. And he says that there's, there's coming ten days of persecution. I on kaže dolazi 10 dana progona. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's 10 days, maybe it's it's 10 different Caesars that are coming for the next 300 years all the way to Domitian in 313. Don't know exactly what it is. Uh, možda je 10 dana, možda je 10 Cezara sve do Domitiana do 313. godine čini mi se. But here's the point. It has a beginning and it has an ending. Ta, ta, taj progon ima početak i ima kraj. You know, not much longer after John wrote this letter. Ne mnogo uh, posle što je Jovan napisao ovo pismo. Polycarp became the pastor of Smyrna. Polycarp je postao pastor u Smirni. And you remember what happened to him? I znate šta se dogodilo sa njim? 86 years old and he was burned at the stake. 86, imao 86 godina života je bio ispalen. But it says that the fire it it was consuming him but it was going around him and so they had to they had to spear him vatra ga je proždirala i bila je svugde oko njega ali obilazila ga i nije ga zahvatala i onda su morali da ga probodu kopljem look what jesus says to them gledaj šta kaže isus ljudima u smirni i know your works znam tvoja dela can you hear him say that to you i know you da li čuješ isusa da ti kaže znam te I know your works. I know what you do. Znam tvoje dela, znam šta činiš. I know your motives. Znam tvoje motive. He says I know your tribulation. Znam tvoje nevolje, kaže Isus. I know what you're going through. Znam kroz šta prolaziš. I number the hairs on your head. 
Znam sve dlake na tvojoj glavi, broj kose. And that word is a pushing, a pushing down on. I sve to nas pritiska, pritiska dole na zemlju. Uh, they, it was the same word that they would actually they would crush grapes or they would lay a big stone on somebody as they were persecuting somebody they would lay this huge stone on you and crush you ista ista reč je korišćena za ceđenje na primjer grejpfruta ili stavljanje ogromnog velikog kamena na čoveka koji su pritiskali da ga zdrobe to je bilo način progona he says i know what's going on in your life on ka, isus kaže znam šta se dešava u tvom životu Have you ever talked to somebody that you're, you're going through something really hard? Da li si nekad razgovarao sa nekim dok prolaziš kroz nešto stvarno teško? You've lost a child. Izgubio si dete. You have cancer. Imaš rak. Something horrible. Nešto užasno. And you're talking to somebody that's never had cancer and they've never lost a child. I govoriš sa nekim ko nikad nije imao rak ili nije izgubio dete. There's something missing. Nešto fali. But if you've lost a child and you've talked to somebody that has lost a child. Ali ako razgovaraš sa nekim koji je izgubio dete, a i ti si izgubio dete. Or they have cancer or they're going through or they went through the same thing that you went through. Ili imaju kancer kao što ti imaš kancer ili su prošli kroz istu nevolju kroz koju si ti prošao. Maybe somebody that has had depression and you're depressed. Neko ko ima depresiju, a ti si sad u depresiji. You you listen onda ga čuješ. You're able to hear them. I sposoban si da ga čuješ. Look who's saying I know. Gledaj ko kaže ja znam. It's Jesus. To je Isus. I know what you're going through. On kaže ja znam kroz šta prolaziš. I know the crushing, I know the pressing, I know the persecution, znam I know the pain. Znam kako je lomljenje, znam kako je drobljenje, znam kakav je progon, znam kakva je bol. I know the rejection, I know how people can hurt you. Znam kako je kad te odbiju, znam kad te povrede ljudi. Jesus was a man of sorrows acquainted with grief. Uh, Isus je bio čovjek tuge uh, ko, koji je patio od te boli. So he says I know your works, I know your tribulation, I know your poverty. Znam uh, tvoja dela, znam tvoju nevolju i siromaštvo. It means they have nothing, nothing. Oni to stvarno znači imaju ništa, ništa, nemaju ništa. He says I know your poverty but you're rich. Znam tvoje siromaštvo, ali kaže bogaci. You're rich. Bogaci. And you have nothing. A im, a nemaš ništa. Now there's going to be another church that we're going to hear about. Biće druga jedna crkva koju ćemo čuti. They think they're so rich and they have nothing. Oni misle da su jako bogati, a zapravo nemaju ništa. Have you ever gotten to that place where you feel like you have nothing and nobody but but you're free, you have him. Da li si ikad bio na tom mestu da imaš ništa i da imaš nikoga? i da se osjećaš slobodan. So Jesus is just encouraging them. Hey, I'm here. Isus ih samo hrabro i kaže ljudi, ja sam ovdje. I know you're going through persecution. Znam da prolazite kroz progon. I know that family members are dying. Znam da vam članovi porodice umiru. And more persecution is coming. A još progona dolazi. Your pastor Polycarp is going to die. Vaš pastor Polycarp će da umre. I mean, it's going to get bad. Biće stvarno gadno. I know. Znam. I know. Znam. I know. Znam to. I have a friend. Imam prijatelja. A pastor friend Brit Merrick. Imam uh, pastora prijatelja Brit Amerika. His six-year-old daughter got cancer. Njegova šestogodišnja ćerka je dobila rak. Daisy Love. Daisy Love. Name. To je njeno ime, Daisy Love. And uh, they they went through treatment doctor and prošli su kroz doktore prošli su kroz tretmane she had a tumor like about this big in her stomach imala je tumor veliku stomaku and she, and she was healed i bila izlečena and you know it was great i bila je divna and then the tumor came back i onda se tumor povratio and it was bigger i bio je još veći and so much pain and chemotherapy and all that toliko bola hemoterapija And, and this went on for a few years. I to je trajalo nekoliko godina. But I'll never forget. Al nikad neću zaboraviti. That Brit he said that uh, he, they went to Israel for some special treatment for his daughter. Brit je rekao kada su otišli u Izrael na neki specijalni tretman za njegovu čerku. And he was saying why? Why Lord? Why? Why? I rekao je Bogu zašto? Zašto? Zašto Bog? And he was reading that part of the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus says don't worry about your life. 
i čitao je taj deo govora na gori gde Bog kaže, da Isus kaže, nemoj da brineš za svoj život. You know, look at the birds of the air. Gledaj, kaže, ptice na nebu. Don't worry. Nemoj da brineš. And then he turned to that other verse where it says that the the Lord knows when a sparrow falls. I okrenuo je drugi stih gde je video da Bog zna gde padne vrabac. And Brett was saying, why, Lord, why is my little sparrow falling? Why? Zašto, Bože, moj mali vrapčić pada? And that's when God freed him. I to je trenutak kad ga je Bog oslobodio. Because all it says is that the Lord knows. Jer sve što je bilo potrebno je to da Bog zna. The Lord doesn't say I killed the sparrow. Uh, Bog ne kaže ja sam ubio vrapca. I made the sparrow die. Ja sam učinio da Bog, vrabac umre. I shot him out of the air. Ubio sam ga u vazduhu. It just says God knows. Nego samo kaže Bog zna. And that's it. I to je to. There's no answer. Nema odgovora. God knows. Bog zna. And the Lord knows. I Gospod zna. The Lord knows what he's doing with you. I Bog zna, Gospod zna šta čini sa tobom. The Lord allows us to go through these things. Gospod nam dozvoljava da prođemo, dopušta da prođemo kroz ove stvari. And when it's self-inflicted, when I when I get into a situation because I wasn't walking in the spirit or I was in sin or I was too busy or whatever. Kada sami sebe ranjavamo, kada smo suviše za, zauzeti, kada prolazimo kroz bol, kada smo pod grehom. He can even use that mess to to turn it into something that is a sweet fragrance. On može i taj nered da upotrebi i da ga okrenu nešto što je prijatan miris Gospodu. He knows. On zna. He's working behind the scenes. On radi iza scene. He knows what he's doing. On zna šta čini. What we need to do is just simply say I surrender. Ono što mi treba da učinimo je da podignemo ruke i da kažemo predajem se. Hosana. Hosana. Save me, Lord. Spasi me, Gospode. And if you don't deliver me out of the situation. Iako me ne izneseš, ne izvadiš iz ove situacije. Then deliver me in the situation. Oni da me uvedi u situaciju. So I can have that strength. Da imam tu snagu. To to be an overcomer, to to have the victory that you've already given me. Da budem preživljavač, da budem onaj koji je pobedio, da mi daš pobedu u ovoj situaciji. To be free. Da budem slobodan. To be free. Are you free? Da budem slobodan. Jesi slobodan? Are you free tonight? Jesi slobodan večeras? I know we're free in Jesus, but are you really free? Znam da si slobodan u Isusu, ali da li si stvarno slobodan? Is there any chains? Is there any addiction? Is there Da li ima nekih lanaca? Da li ima neke navike? I thought what Rod was saying in, in the beginning tonight was you don't have to stay in that place. Rod je danas uveč, danas na početku rekao ne treba da ostaneš na tom mestu. You can be delivered from that place. Možeš da budeš oslobođen sa tog mesta. Whether it's fear or whatever it might be. Da li to strah ili bilo šta u tvom životu? Well, Jesus he knows. Isus zna. And he says do not fear those things which you are about to suffer. I on kaže nemoj se bojati tih stvari od kojih ćeš patiti. Literally it stop being fearful. I kaže prestani da budeš uplašen. Stop. Prestani. Stop being fearful. It does nothing. Prestani da budeš uplašen, to je ništa. Hard things are coming, he says. Teški dani dolaze. And he says indeed the devil is about to throw some of you into prison. I kaže đavo će neki od vas da baci u zatvor. The enemy of our soul, he wants to just destroy us. Neprete naših duša hoće da nas uništi. I mean destroy us. Ali stvarno da nas uništi. And torment us. Da nas muči, kinje. And and in serving the Lord there's all this spiritual battle that's going to take place. Isuzeći Boga uvek će biti te duhovne borbe koja koja se dešava, koja zauzima mesto u našem životu. Constantly. Stalno. But I want to encourage you tonight. Ali hoću da te ohrabrim večeras. Tamo je sloboda u Hristu. And, and Jesus says to this church, he says just be faithful. Isus kaže ovoj crkvi samo budi verna. Be faithful. Budi verna. Don't give up. Nemoj se predati, ne daj, ne daj se. 
Bog je sposoban i umoći da ti da sve što ti je trebno. Njegova milost ti je dovoljna. Njegova milost je dovoljna. Zar vazduh nije čist u ovom dvorcu? Tako čist vazduh. Znači da je da je da je da je da Standing on my balcony up there and I'm I'm worrying that I'm going to breathe all the oxygen in the atmosphere. Ja stvarno brinem se da ne udahnem sav kiselnik iz vazduha. How ridiculous. Kako je to smešno. And God says to me, don't worry, Mike. Kaže Bog, nemoj se brinuti, Mike. My atmosphere is sufficient for you. Moja atmosfera je dovoljno velika za tebe, Mike. You can't use it all up. Ne možeš sve da upotrebiš sav kiselnik moje atmosfere. My grace is sufficient. Moja milost je dovoljna. You can't use it up. Ne možeš da je upotrebiš do kraja. So do you need more grace? Treba ti još milosti. It's like the atmosphere. To je kao atmosfera. You can't breathe enough in. Ne možeš sve da udahneš. So start breathing deeper. Počni dublje da dišiš. In a spiritual sense. U duhovnom smislu. The strength that you need is in Christ. Snaga koja ti je potrebna je u Hristu. Radost koja ti je potrebna je u Hristu. Sposobnost da budeš veran je u Hristu. Sve se nalazi u njemu. Idi kući. Idi vrati se Hristu. Njemu nisi potreban. Može da upotrebi osobu pored tebe. Slow down if you have to. Uspori ako je potrebno. Make him priority number one again. Učini ga da ti bude prioritet broj jedan u životu. Learn how to say no. I nauči da kažeš ne. And and know that hard times are always going to be there. I znaj da će teška vremena uvek da budu. But be faithful. Ali budi veran. The day before you got here, I saw the most beautiful storm in my life. Dan prema što ste vi došli, sam vidio najlepšu oluju ikad u svom životu. I have a picture to prove it. Imam sliku da dokažem to. Rainbow and lightning and it was beautiful. Bilo je prelepo. But it was a it was a pretty good storm. A bilo je stvarno dobra oluja. But it was so beautiful. A bilo je prelepa. It was so unique. Bila je tako jedinstvena. And storms are very unique. A oluje su stvarno jedinstvene. A clear blue sky is a clear blue sky. Čisto plavo nebo je čisto plavo nebo. It's beautiful. Prelepo je. But a storm just adds this element of just it changes all the time and it's beautiful. Dolazi donosi taj element te stalne promene, stalno je prelepa. He that rainbow is his faithfulness. Ta duga, to je njegova vernost. Kristova vernost. His rainbow will be seen in your storm. Ta duga će biti vidljiva u tvojoj oluji. Because he is the light and you need that light to shine. On je svetlost koja je potrebna da te obasja. In order to see that rainbow. Da bi video tu dugu u toj oluji. Oh, it's He he just wants to gather you. On sve hoće da vas okupi, da vas skupi, da vas prigrli. And scoop you up. I da vas podigne, da vas drži sve zajedno. Say, I got you, it's gonna be okay. I bit će sve dobro, kaže on. So he says, be faithful. I samo kaže, budi veran. And I'll give you the crown of life. I daću ti krunu života. I'll give it to you. Daću ti je. It's gonna be okay. I bit će dobro. Romans 8.18 Rimljani 8.18 For I consider that the sufferings of this present age are not worthy to be compared with with the glory which will be revealed in us. Smatram da patnja ovoga vremena ne može da se uporedi sa slavom koja će biti objavljena u nama. Read 2 Corinthians 4:16 through 18. 2 Corinthians 4:16 through 18. Drugo Korinćanima 4:16 do 18. We don't lose heart. Zato nam se ne dosađuje, no ako se naš spoljašnji čovjek i raspada, ali se unutrašnji obnavlja svaki dan. Jer naša laka sadašnja briga donosi nam večnu i od svega pretežniju slavu. Nama koji ne gledamo na ovo što se vidi, nego na ono što se ne vidi. Jer je ovo što se vidi za vreme, a ono što se ne vidi 
večno. Dobit ćete krunu života, onaj koji je... Bit ćemo spašeni od te druge smrti. I know we know these things. Mi znamo ove stvari. But church, a big part of church is about being reminded. Ali veliki deo onoga što jeste crkva je da budemo podsjećani. This place, this, this castle. Ovo mesto, ovaj zamak, ovdje gdje smo sada. Is a place of rest. Je mesto odmora. I remember the first time I came here. Sećam se prvog puta kada sam došao ovdje. I was in Subo for I don't know. 6 weeks or something. Bio sam u Subotici jedno 6 nedelja, 6 sedmica. And I I came here alone. Došao sam sam ovdje. And the first day I got here, i prvi dan kad sam došao, I got into a little rowboat out at the dock. Otišao sam mali And I was so exhausted that I I fell asleep. Bio sam toliko umoran da sam napolju zaspao. Three hours I slept. Spavao sam tri sata. Three hours. Tri, tri sata. I ended up like miles no. down the, the coast here. Bio sam miljama daleko sa čamcem. I woke up and tamo. I was like, where am I? Pogledao sam i nisam znao gde sam uopšte. Oh, I'm lost. I thought the castle was on that side. Izgubio sam se, nisam znao, mislio sam da je na nekoj drugoj strani. I had to hitchhike back to the castle and leave the boat. Morao sam da stopiram da bi se nazad i ostavio sam čamac tamo. I was so exhausted from going and going and going. Bio sam toliko umoran od tog stalno, idemo, idemo, idemo. And so this place always was a place, the very first day for me, a place to rest. Ovo je od prvog dana za mene bilo mesto gdje treba da se odmorim. Nadam se da ćeš naći ovdje fizički odmor. I da ćeš naći i odmor za svoju dušu. I da uzmeš tu drugu pobedu i da se vratiš nazad. Sa obnovljenom radošću i slobodom. I slobodom. I mudrošću, to be faithful, da budeš veran, to have a different perspective, da imaš drugu perspektivu and to put Jesus on the throne of your life, i da staviš Isusa na tron svoga života. Daj mi, Gospode, da budem Tvoja posuda i da budem miris Hristov. Molit ćemo se.